Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions, and this is a tour of my iPad. Let's go ahead and start with the apps. As you can see, we have the App Store, then we have the Twitter app. This is the official Twitter app right here. Unlike Twitterific, it, uh... Well, I think Twitterific is slightly better than this, and TweetDeck. It just seems not finished, really. It just seems like, for example, if I click on, um... John for Lakers Twitter. It just like it seems too like cluttered and unorganized. But yeah, that's the official Twitter app. We have BBC News here. Let's go ahead and open that. Not search iPad. Let's open BBC News. I'm gonna try and not angle the iPad in the way of the light, as you can see there. I'm just gonna yeah. This just shows like news down the side. You pick a category and it appears in the right hand side. Okay, let's go out of that. I also have We Rule. Why does it keep doing that? This is kind of like Farmville. But it isn't Farmville. You'll see what I mean in a minute. It's like you control a kingdom instead of like a farm. As you can see, there's my crops growing. That's in Farmville. Da -da -da, you, you've got to do various tasks. You can see I zoom in a bit there. Just bits like that. It's just kind of like, it's basically Farmville but for kingdoms. Let's go out of that now. The next app we have to show you is the nightstand alarm clock. I use this a lot. Yeah, it's basically an alarm clock. You click the eye at the bottom right. You can see the reflective iPad screen. Click the eye, you set the alarm to whatever you want. Yeah, it's just an alarm clock. Next we have the Mashable app. Sorry about that. This is kind of the place for tech news. As you can see, it has a navigation down the side. It has all social media, social, social media, mobile, web video, entertainment, business, tech, and Apple. Yeah, if you're into tech, then I would download this app. It just la uh, lays out all the days tech news and all the even earlier than all the days like weeks ago news. Just all in an easy to read format. You double click a story that you like. Why not double click? What, what am I talking about? You click or you touch a story that you like. That becomes in this display. You click the little arrows on the left and right to navigate through the stories. They're all tech related so there's no uh, unnecessary stories that you don't want to see. So that's Mashable. This next app is called Harbour Master. This is a pretty epic game. Press, press play, uh, go to start. You can buy a paid version of this with more levels but I've just got the free one. Now the idea of this game is, for example, that uh, orange boat there steers into the orange dock Oops. and that line is its path of direction you're not allowed to make any any ship collide to each other and you've got to see how much cargo you can unload in the docks and that's the objective of the game just to see how many like at a time you can as you can see it says zero out there but the yeah it's pretty much a game that you play if you're bored right let's go on to poker 7k Come on, turn over. There we go. This is an app for the iPhone. I won $100 today. It's not real. I don't gamble. But yeah. Go to two. Right. As you can see, it's just Texas Hold'em Poker. It's not real money. It's playing with virtual money. But again, this is online with other people via the Facebook network. Zynga. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you with that. It's a poker game. Next up we have Twitterific. This is what I was going on about earlier, what I thought was better than the official Twitter app. And I think you'll believe that too. Down the side we have all tweets, mentions, messages, favourites. And then we have the trends. We can just click the button and it pulls the, tw the trends up. Yeah, and the tweets just be displayed down the side. And let's try and find a link for you. 
Shay Carl has just given a link. Let's see if we can open. Yeah, when you open a link, they just appear in a new window, like so, and it opens up like the YouTube browser thing, or for the mobile. I'm gonna get off that. Yes, yeah, so that's Twitterific. The next app we have is AOL Instant Messenger app. Now, due to the re the recent inclusion of the Facebook support for it, I use this quite a lot. Pretty much, you look on the side here. Where, this is all your on online friends here. They're offline messages just coming through from when I last went off. Those are recently opened instant messages. And and again on the right here are your online friends. There's my Facebook friends, blah blah. blah. There's the buddies. Yeah. So you pick a friend from the buddies list, you click their name, they appear in the active IMs, and then you click on which one you want to speak to, and it appears in the middle. So that's that one. Right. This game was featured on the Apple Keynote. I'll go ahead and show you why. Soldier Knows Best recently did a um, video review on this. Purely for the fact that it's made by Epic Games and it's supposed to be a really good game for the iPad and iPhone. In a minute you'll see the quality of the graphics that are actually on this app. As you can see in a minute, wait, can I just... Let me see if I can find a menu to turn it down. Anyway, yeah, you click to move, like, and then you swipe to turn. So like, I want to go over down there, you click down there, and then that little arrow tells you that you're going to go there. So if you want to look up at that mirror up there, not mirror, that window, you move it and say what's up there. Wait, don't say that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so look at the graphics of this game, it's really impressive. You have two, this moves your, dire your direction, and this little... Uh, analog, virtual analog stick moves the uh, camera, so you can play just by pressing down. I think this is the tutorial mode because it's making a noise every time I click. But this is just their like demo of their late, of their game that's coming out for the iPad and iPhone. It's called Epic Castle. Yeah, it tries to boast really good graphics. I mean, look at those graphics for an iPad app. It looks really good. The full version will have lots of fighting and God knows what in it. The last app is Roller Coaster. I downloaded this this morning just to check it out and I think it's pretty cool. It's made by Barclay Card or sponsored by them. Enable sound effects, no thank you. What you have to do is pretty much dodge little icons, but it's quite fun. As you can see, the guy's on a roller coaster that's ridiculously high. You tap that button there and it ducks, makes him duck. You want to duck under the red arrows that appear. So there's a red arrow there. And the lightning thing on the right is a power booster, so you press that and it goes even faster. And I just went through. Yeah, so the idea is just to dodge things and ride the roller coaster. I did have one more app and that was Angry Birds on this. I recommend that uh, app to you. The only reason I don't have it on this iPad at the moment is actually because I switched um, iTunes accounts and it didn't come across correctly, but I'll sort that out soon. So yeah, download Angry Birds HD. It is, you can download the light version just to get used to it, then you wanna go ahead and buy the, just buy it because it's like the greatest game you can buy for the Apple devices. What I'm going to show you now is the podcasts that I listen to and watch. So let's go to videos. Yep, yeah, there's the Philip DeFranco show. Right. All I listen to is video podcasts, really. So, but there are a few more. So let's go ahead in the video podcasts. We have Cranky Geeks. This is with John C. Dvorak. I'm not going to play one. But yeah, all he pretty much just sit, sits around a table and talks tech with other people. For example, the title there is Inside Intel's McAfee Netflix Big Deal da da da. He's quite uh, a negative person, let's put it that way. Next we have Darren Brown's Science of Scams. This is 
what he does is pretty much explains how to do certain um, mythical things such as brick breaking, uh, PSI wheel, and ghosts on film. Next we have the Philip DeFranco show, I'm sure you've heard of this guy. He pretty much makes the news, not said really. RuTube is like top YouTube clips. But yeah, that's the only one I've downloaded, the top uh, five stuntmen. He pretty much just analyzes YouTube clips. We have stuff they don't want you to know, which is a YouTube, not YouTube, a conspiracy podcast, conspiracy theory podcast, such as you can see by this, it says, is the Bermuda Triangle dangerous? Did bankers kill Lincoln and Kennedy and all that? It's just a conspiracy thing. I find it quite interesting. Moving on now to This Week in Google with the host, Leo Laporte. If you haven't heard of him, then you obviously aren't into tech. Uh, his main show is This Week in Tech, which straight after this video, I just remembered it's Sunday, so he records it every Sunday, I believe. Yeah, he talks tech and gets people like Kevin Rose and all these big um, people in the tech industry to come on and talk to him. Let's see if we've got any audio podcasts. Yeah, um, I've just got two. Hypothetical Help is with Scott Johnson, who runs a World of Warcraft podcast. I don't, I do not play World of Warcraft, but he runs a World of Warcraft podcast, and uh, pretty much what they do is give hypothetical answers and advice to people with real questions. So it's, it's like, what do I do if my cat is dying? And they say stuff like throw in a bin and all this stuff. It's just they answer sarcastically. And Tech Five is a five-minute um, tech podcast that John C. Dvorak does, who I mentioned earlier, on Cranky Geeks. Yeah. So thanks for watching. A quick tour of my iPad. Uh, I might call this version 1, because I might release more in the future. Depends how I feel when I'm editing this video. Thanks for watching. Ads Productions.